back to another Java short tutorial. And in this tutorial I will be discussing the alternative to a uh, if, else if and else statement called the switch case. So let's get started. And again I'm going to create a new file. Example 05 in this case. Again with a main method. So what am I going to do this time? Um, again I'm going to uh, present a series of choices but instead of uh, using a if else statement or if else if else statement I'm going to use a switch case which, wor which works a little bit differently than the else if statement but is generally more efficient or at least considered more efficient this video might end up being a little bit longer than my uh, usual videos in this series because it's a bit complicated but anyway it will still be a short video in the end so say if I am implementing a menu and I have want my user to select uh, a certain menu option based on a number so in this case I am going to simulate the option based on a integer variable called option uh, which for convenience I'm going to give the value 1 so in this case I have to create my uh, switch case uh, which is going to show a different message based on the selection 1, 2 or 3 so first of all I need to say switch and what criteria is my switch case going to look at um, it's going to look at the value of option then again as normal with Java I have a accolade open and a accolade close and in between there come my various cases, the various options I would like to execute. So say for example I have a case which I would like to execute if my variable option has the value of 1. And if my case has a value of 1, I want to print system.out.println uh, option 1. So, if my selection is 2, I want my program to show option 2. So let's just do the lazy programmer thing again and say option 2. If my selection is 3, I want it to show option 3. So there we have it. Switch, case 1, case 2, case 3. And what we usually have to add as well is what we call a default case. And in default case I will probably say, um, sticking with the menu example, invalid option. Okay, so what does this default case actually do? Well, the switch case, switch case is a bit like a coin drop in a bank. It will first try this, then if it doesn't work it will try that, then try that, and if none of it works it will just say uh, trigger the default option, very similar to the else statement in the if else statement. So I'm now going to execute this program and I'm already going to tell you in advance is that I actually forgot to do something, I, I deliberately did not do something here, but I would like you to see the behavior first. So if this switch case is correct, my option 1 will result in option 1 being shown. Okay, now let's run it, and you can see it actually shows option 1 to three and invalid option so why is that that's because I neglected to put the word break at the end of every option uh, like I said the switch case is a bit like a coin drop um, it will simply fall all the way through if if necessary unless stopped otherwise so basically uh, what happens if I were to run this in debug mode but I'm not going to right now um, case 1 indeed passes, it will execute this line, but because I did not add this break here, it will just continue with the next line, and the next line, and the next line. So what I would like to do is, basically if case 1 is selected, I want this line to be executed, and then I want the switch case to break, meaning I want it to terminate and stop, and not do anything else. So the solution is very simple, for every case, after I'm done with the code that I want to execute, I add the break option. 
I do not need to do this for the default option since it's already the last one in line. So now if I run this, it will simply say option 1. Now let's test this with option 2. And option 2 is also uh, working fine. Let's change to option 3. And as expected, option 3 will show. Lastly, uh, the default case, which basically is the case for any value that is not in use. So let's say if I choose option 4, it shows invalid option. And yeah, and just to test that one more time, I can change it to 0. So again, if I run it with 0, it will again show invalid option. Okay. Uh, so that's basically switch case for integer. You can also do the switch case for the char. So I will create a char variable called option and assign it a char value, which will be done with single quotes. So in this case, I could say uh, value A, in which case I'm no longer going to test for a numeric value, but I'm going to test for a character value. So A b or c so in this particular case char option a is selected so obviously this will print and let's just for the sake of example change the correct values so that's now tested with the value b and obviously option b appears this has one more minor problem that I'm going to illustrate. So say if I change the capital B to a small b, ideally to trigger option B, but if I now execute it, it will actually say invalid option. Why? Because in Java, a small b and a capital B are not the same. There is, however, a very simple way that we can solve this problem. And it actually goes back to the invalid behavior I've shown earlier. Um, remember that if one case f passes and I do not use a break, it will just continue on to the next line, even if it's a different case. So in this case, we can very simply solve this problem by saying below the case capital A, case small a, and case small b, and finally case small c. So now if I run this program again, it will actually, well, fill capital B case, but pass small b case, print this line, then terminate the whole switch case. So thus, as a result, option B will be shown and not invalid option. Again, if I change my value to, for example, X, which is none of the cases, it will show invalid option. So lastly, there's one more thing I'd like to illustrate, and this only works in... Um, Java JDK 7 or higher is the switch case with a string. So if you create a string variable, you can actually test for it, but this only works in the later versions of Java. So let's quickly modify uh, 7 or higher. So if you're using 6, it won't work. So again, let me quickly update this example just to demonstrate that. There you go. And run it one more time. And again, it will show option A because I've set option A as my string variable. So there you have it. A very quick overview of how to use a switch case as an alternative to a if-else statement in Java. See you next time.